Okay, setting this up like we did on the last one. This is standard form. And that's okay. It's going to be a little bit harder finding the vertex. you got to go to a little bit more work to find the vertex. All right, but we still have to find that vertex. We can look at this parabola, though, and look at that leading coefficient. That leading coefficient is uh, 1, and it's positive. So is this going to be upside down or right side up? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going to be right side up. Now, does anybody remember the formula for finding the vertex in standard form? we got all these formulas floating around. If I said it starts with a negative, yes, excellent, negative b over 2a. So that's the thing you got to remember. Now, I'm going to add an extra part to that. Technically, it's x equals negative b over 2a because you're finding the x-coordinate of the vertex. All right, so that's what I'm trying to calculate here. I'm trying to find my vertex. All right. And the first number I find is going to be my x-coordinate right there. So b is already negative, so negative, negative 2, all over 2 times a, a is 1. Negative times negative is positive, so a 2 over 2. Oh, this one's an easy one. I got it down to 1. So that is the x-coordinate of my vertex, so I can come over here, start my little ordered pair for my vertex. Now, how do I find the y coordinate? I take the one and substitute it back in. Yep, so then I do y equals a 1 squared minus a 2 times a 1 plus a 1. And then hopefully the numbers will be easy enough. You can do this in your head. 1 minus 2, negative 1, negative 1 plus 1, 0. Don't let me make a mistake. All right, so that equals zero. All right, so again, let's emphasize that this is a formula that really needs to be memorized. X equals negative B over 2A. And you just remember the negative B over 2A part. Okay, but it is good to know that it's the X coordinate. All right, so now that I know my vertex, I can come over here to my graph, and I can put a dot at 1, 0 for my vertex. We've already looked at this leading coefficient. All right, and it's a positive, so it's a upright. Okay, so we just we know we're going up. All right, now our magic numbers are always going to be one, three, five. What am I going to multiply it by this time? I multiply it by the leading coefficient of one. So kind of boring there. It doesn't change because I multiplied it by the one right there. So then we're going to have 1, 3, 5. And they're positive numbers, and we just said the parabola goes up. Okay, so the parabola goes up, so we should be good. So we're going, we start at the vertex. I go to the right one, and then up 1, and put my dot. Then I go to the right one, up 3, 1, 2, 3, put a dot. If I go to the right one and up 5, I'm off my graph paper, so no big deal. You may not be off yours, but I'm definitely off mine. So that's okay. Everybody looking good here? To the right, up one. To the right, up three. To the right, up five, if I didn't go off my graph paper. Symmetrical points on the left-hand side. And then I have real quickly graphed my quadrating. And then we could do all the other things that we did on the last one. I could find axis of symmetry, domain, range. All right, you go ahead and start. Do your axis of symmetry, do domain, do range. Do x and y intercepts if you can. I'll give you a head start before I start writing.